All right, my friends, it's another year, it's another eGPU. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you all about my experience with the Blackmagic Design eGPU. And let's try ejecting the eGPU. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Now, I'm just gonna tell you, yes, it makes your MacBook quieter. This is Xcode, the iOS simulator, running around 3,337 revs per minute. And this is 2,600 RPMs with the external GPU plugged in. No, it doesn't really make it faster. One, two, three. Yes, you can run it on Windows, but at your own peril. And check it out. It's been detected on Windows. So right now, uh, my internal display is blank and there's a bit of a, an error happening. It doesn't detect the 560X, but it has a new graphics card, which is by AMD. <laughs> All right, this is the Blackmagic eGPU box. And by comparison, this is what a MacBook looks like. It is huge, this guy. So what we wanna know is, will this make our MacBook Pro with Touch Bar any good? Yowzers. Oh, gonna take it out sideways, because it's huge. It's got good protection in the box. All right, so what do we have here? We got, we are gender equality. We got a female gamer. We got, is that a male? Or, that's a male gamer. We got a nice, beautiful design. You got a male and a female operator. So they've gone full out with the gender equality and that looks like female hands. <laughs> so, I'm very impressed with this. 2018, females rock. All right, let's see, you got pretty much a lot of performance gains over here. What's cool about this is it will charge your laptop. So instead of buying a second power adapter, you get $100 off this and you got four USB ports and two fundable ports. So again, that's another $100 off if you're looking to get a professional extender USB style kind of hub. Sorry about this perspection. It's just, it's a big box. So we have a manual and it says Thunderport 3 eGPU RX 580. It's got a bunch of symbols saying I'm overpriced for the RX 580, but I'm hopefully quiet. More padding. It's uh, honestly, it looks, it looks beautiful. So finally, in this little box, you get a power cable and the tiniest USB Thunderbolt 3 cable I have seen in my life. This is a Sonic eGPU Apple developer kit sized to make sure, you know, you stick it right next to your computer. Look how t this actually fits on the screen. So you plug it in there, your laptop literally has to be right next to it. You get two Thunderbolt ports, but remember one of them needs to be used to connect to your laptop and you get one HDMI. So I don't know how you're gonna be getting four monitors in there. If you have a proper GPU, you get two HDMIs, you get two DVIs, you get some proper ports in there. Well, this guy, yeah, you only get really one or two extensions for your monitor unless you can daisy chain the hell out of your monitor, but you know, I can't do that with mine for me. I was just using it to test out HDMI. All right, now, just talking to you about the performance. <sighs> All right, so I got everything plugged in, but you know, there's nothing on the screen. So I think you have to log out and log back in. And after the restart, place the system tray on the external monitor and tell macOS to prefer using that eGPU to finally get some performance. Well, not on Simbench, which in fact scored lower but there were some gains in Final Cut Pro, which allowed the eGPU to render out the same one minute clip, 20 seconds faster than a MacBook Pro with an external monitor attached. If you use the Bruce X 5K test, yes, it will double your performance from the 15 inches natural 560X graphics card. But if you're just doing actual video rendering, if you're just rendering out a clip to ProRes, like there is really no performance difference. Like if you unplug the monitor, 
or if you have a monitor plugged in via the eGPU, exact same speeds. If you have the monitor plugged into your DGPU, your laptop directly, it's 20 seconds slower, but um, this guy just gets rid of the noise. For example, exporting out a clip, the fan speed was 21,000, which is the lowest. Exporting out a quick clip with the monitor unplugged is 3,000 revs per minute, and exporting a clip with um, the monitor plugged into the laptop directly is 3,500 revs per minute. And the fan speeds are 2,100. And the fans are at 3,000. And the fans are at 3,500. So you are getting a quieter experience when editing videos. And I was playing um, Call of Duty. Fourteen forty P and it's doing some crazy anti aliasing. Just wanna see now what will happen if you just unplug it in Windows. Whoa. Alright, so there's nothing on the screen. Plug it back in. Don't do Windows, trust me, it'll mess up your computer. Wait, it messed up mine, messed up mine with Windows. As soon as I plugged this guy into Windows, he, he just, he forgot about the 560X drivers, installed some new AMD drivers for this guy. My MacBook Pro's uh, speakers went out and uh, the display went black. Obviously it works in, in, in Mac, but on Windows I'm talking about. And um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get it back. Even when I unplugged it, reset it, you know, I couldn't get it back. My Windows is now bust. The drivers are gone. So uh, don't do that unless you know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I just left it plugged in and it, that's what happened. But I was able to get 1440p Call of Duty World War II playing and it was about 30 frames a second. So that's, uh, it works. Probably some issues to be ironed out, hopefully in the next bootcamp drivers, that kind of stuff. But there is potential with this beast. Now, there wasn't much performance games, as I said, when I was using the 15-inch 2018 MacBook Pro. In fact, it was a little bit slower in some cases. For example, Sinbench, the FPS on that is 85, where normally I can get over 90, at least to 100 frames a second on this guy's DGPU. So something is being lost in the patterns, but overall, it is quieter. Not if you're doing something super CPU intensive, for example, this is Xcode, the iOS simulator, running around 3,337 revs per minute. And this is 2,600 RPMs with the external GPU plugged in. Of course, that was with Turbo Boost disabled because if you allow Turbo Boost to run, it will get really hot really quick. It's, it's better, but the most, uh, the quietest bits that I've noticed is in Final Cut. So your mileage will vary, depends on the apps you use, but it was definitely a quieter experience, but the fans did still rock up, so it's not a perfect solution. Now, you might be thinking, okay, this guy isn't really for these 2018 MacBook Pros, because it only has an RX 580 graphics card in there, which is only twice as fast as the GPU inside the 2018 MacBook Pros. Do you want to get on a smaller guy as well? On this guy, Unfortunately, Thunderbolt accessory cannot be used on this Mac. So it doesn't work on a 2016 MacBook, which is a shame because this guy could maybe do with a little bit of eGPU loving. And on this guy over here, my friend, the 13 incher, well. About the eGPU, three, two, one, go. All right, after five minutes, we are at 42% and the fans are at 2,700. All right, with the eGPU, three, two, one, go. And just to prove that the eGPU is going, Radeon Pro 580 and uh, five minutes in, we're only at 68%. No, no improvement in the fans, but it was 60% faster in rendering out Final Cut stuff. So, yeah, you get a slight win over there. It doesn't get anywhere close to the performance on this guy. Even with 60% improvement on this guy, he was still three times slower 
than exporting out a clip on this guy. Now I'm just using standard H.265 encoded videos. So, you know, take that what you will. Personally, I would have hoped they put a better graphics card in there because the one in there at the moment doesn't really do it justice. It's not also silent. It does kick up and make some like bubbling kind of like sounds kind of like sounds. Something I immediately notice is it's actually not silent like everyone says. because the cable's so short you know you gotta put it close to your laptop I found that if I'm around three meters away from it it is silent but anywhere closer than three meters especially when you get close to one meter you can definitely hear it especially when it kicks up but it is not loud whatsoever it's proper quiet you can hear it but it is quiet all right that's my thoughts on this eGPU. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. Um, hopefully it'll get better, but I thought that last year and it still hasn't gotten better. So, uh, Okay, Google. Navigate to Apple. Well, I tried to ah, nine. Yes, I did, and I guess I didn't like it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Sad story, go. This GPU's got to go. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. That guy is mansplaining some things to this lady. There you go, gender equality has failed. He's getting a bit close, look, his hand's on the her back. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, what's uh, going on here? What's actually going on there? How is that guy attached to this guy? There's no cable. These lights are so fake, look at that, CGI. Guy's got an iPhone, and he's got a MacBook, and he's doing audio production with the fans of a MacBook. He's doing audio production. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. She is doing some ninja carnal warrior stuff. At least there's cables on this. He's, he's going into a 15 inch. Oh, nice one. Doing some sort of mad cabling over there. There's a plant. She's gonna start kicking the plant and get sacked. In case you're wondering, that note says, thank you for all of the things. There you go. She's thanking herself.